Today we're going to chronograph test these Winchester 3 inch Magnum slugs. I've already tried this test in the past and we got way lower velocities than expected, but we used only an 18 inch barrel and also I had the slugs stored in my shed that got really hot in the summer. So I wasn't quite sure if the powder integrity was compromised from the temperature variations. So this time I got a brand new box of slugs. And I'm also going to test it between two different length barrels. First we'll try it out of the 1300 Defender with an 18 inch barrel, just like last time. And then we'll try them out of my new Mossberg 535 ATS with a 28 inch barrel. And then we'll see the difference in velocities between the two barrel lengths. Okay, so first up we're going to try the 1300 Defender. And we're just going to do three slugs at a time. Okay, let's see what these Winchester 3 inch 1 ounce slugs register at. That first one came in at 1236, really low. And that second one, 1341. And the third one came in at 1352. Now let's try three out of the 28 inch barrel. Number one came in at 1441. Number two, 1629. That's the highest velocity I've ever seen from a slug so far. The third one came in as an error, so I'm going to go ahead and try one more time. That fourth attempt for some reason registered as 7579. That makes absolutely no sense. So either there's something wrong with my chronograph or it picks something else up. Since our fourth one came in really weird, I'm going to go ahead and try one more. So that's eight slugs all together that I'm testing. Okay, and that last one came in at 653.1. I don't know if it picked up the wadding or something, but there's definitely something weird going on. Our first two shots seem to register right though. But anyways, that's all for the Winchester 3-inch slug chronograph test. Until next time, thanks for watching.